I can't do that. <laughs> if our democracy is to work the way it should in this increasingly diverse nation, then each one of us need to try to heed the advice of a great character in American fiction, Atticus Finch, who said, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. For blacks and other minority groups, that means tying our own very real struggles for justice to the challenges that a lot of people in this country face. Not only the refugee or the immigrant or the rural poor or the transgender American, but also the middle-aged white guy who, from the outside, may seem like he's got advantages, but has seen his world upended by economic and cultural and technological change. For white Americans, it means acknowledging that the effects of slavery and Jim Crow didn't suddenly vanish in the 60s. For too many of us, it's become safer to retreat into our own bubbles, surrounded by people who look like us and share the same political outlook and never challenge our assumptions. If every economic issue is framed as a struggle between a hardworking white middle class and an undeserving minority, then workers of all shades are going to be left fighting for scraps while the wealthy withdraw further into their private enclaves. If we're unwilling to invest in the children of immigrants just because they don't look like us, we will diminish the prospects of our own children because those brown kids will represent a larger and larger share of America's workforce. Our Constitution is a remarkable, beautiful gift. But it's really just a piece of parchment. It has no power on its own. We, the people, give it power. We, the people, give it meaning with our participation and with the choices that we make. Michelle LaVon Robinson, girl of the South Side. For the, fa for the past 25 years, you have not only been my wife and mother of my children, you have been my best friend. Malia and Sasha, you wore the burden of years in the spotlight so easily. Of all that I have done in my life, I am most proud to be your dad. To Joe Biden. The scrappy kid from Scranton who became Delaware's favorite son. You were the first decision I made as a nominee, and it was the best my fellow Americans. It has been the honor of my life to serve you. I won't stop. In fact, I will be right there with you as a citizen for all my remaining days. Yes, we can. Yes, we did. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. May God continue to bless the United States of America.